Right now, it's time to be joined by Ruth Epstein from the Republican American. Ruth covers our area for the Water Republican American, and we are delighted to speak with her every Monday morning. Good morning, Ruth. Ah, thanks, Marshall. Good morning. And another busy time. Boy, we're making up for that lost pandemic closure, so I'll tell you. We're... You're not kidding, I tell you. Amazing the amount of stuff that's going on. Yeah, everybody's just itching to get out there and recoup what they lost over the last two years, and it's working. Um, we had uh, some another um, historic tour this weekend. You know, Lou Bucheri did one in Lakeville last week, and this week we had a great one in Salisbury with um, uh, some members of the Salisbury Association. And, uh, boy, there's so much history steeped in those buildings. It's amazing. And things we've learned and things we've forgotten. And uh, Lou will be doing his walk again in Lakeville at a future time. So if uh, you are interested, I would uh, urge people to go on to the website of the Salisbury Association and check it out. Um, we also had an interview with... Um, the hospital folks, they came to Gear Lodge this week, and, uh, you know, we've been talking about the, the closure of labor and delivery for a long time. We thought it was going to happen sooner. Now, um, the President, Christina McCullough, said they uh, expect to hear by the end of the year. So births are still going on at the hospital, uh, but they're uh, expecting that there will be a decision from the state by the end of December. Um, they're also seeking, as you know, to change the uh, footprint of the hospital and join the uh, intensive care unit with the medical surgical wing and make it a new acu acuity, pro progressive acuity, I think it's called. Yeah. And so, um, but again, as you see, uh, there's still a lot of controversy. There are ads, you know, urging that this not happen. And, uh, who knows? Uh, there are hospitals elsewhere that have, the state has rejected the plans for closure. So we'll see. Uh, it's a big issue. It is, an, it is definitely an open question. Uh, yeah. And uh, we'll have to, and yeah, it, the first decision will probably come down around the end of the year, but uh, I'm not so sure about the, the emergency room decision uh, when that will come down. The intensive care. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's, it's an emotional one. We all know. Uh, on one side, the hospital administrators are saying they must do it to ensure the long-term survival of the hospital, and yet those who oppose it are, are fearful about the safety of women and uh, having to travel long distances to give birth. So, um, And, of course, you know, that hospital has been here so long, and it's an integral part of the, yeah. the community. So, interesting. Um, we also took pictures this week of the... Paul Newman Strait, uh, they have finally named, it was an unnamed strait at Lime Rock Park, and they finally decided after, I think, 65 years it's been in existence to name it for Paul Newman, who obviously was a, a, a very uh, big part of that racetrack for a long time, racing there, loved it there. And uh, so if you get a chance, you can see the big red sign that says, uh, Paul Newman Strait, if you visit the park. And as you know, lots going on at the park. The park has um, opened its facilities to a lot of organizations, and I would imagine there'll be plenty more going on there over, uh, as the, we move forward. I think it's only good that the Paul Newman Strait goes under the Sam Posey Bridge. Isn't it? <laughs> it really yeah. is pretty neat. Yeah. It's, yeah, very neat. Um, the last um, first Tuesday at 7 Series was held this week. As you know, They've been talking railroads all um, this summer, and it has been very popular, very popular. People, uh, are the, the South Canaan Meeting House has been filled, and great uh, photos and uh, all sorts of um, discussions and talking about the history of the Housatonic Railroad. And uh, um, even if you're not a railroad buff, it's fascinating to hear. And... Um, they talking about maybe doing more next year on railroads since it's such a popular subject. So, looking ahead, Marshall, we have busy times. Well, well, they have the Region 1 board meets tonight. Yeah, after a, a summer hiatus, we have the Region 1 board. We have the doubleheader in Falls Village, the Selectmen and the Finance Board. Um, and I'm 
there are probably other meetings going yeah, Sharon, on. Sharon Board of Education uh, is meeting tonight as well. Mm-hmm. As uh, I'm trying to think what, where else um, where, where there's meetings, but uh, but uh, those are the main places. Oh well, well Salisbury uh, they have their their board of selectmen meeting. That is tonight at That's five. That's right. Yep. We yeah. skipped that last week. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow is Sharon Board of uh, Sharon Board of Selectmen. Yep. And um, coming up on the 16th, busy night, uh, the Salisbury Forum is hosting a talk about the future of journalism in conjunction with the Lakeville Journal's anniversary. At the same time, there is a uh, the travel club at the high school is holding its wine and dinner auction, and um, they had a slew of kids go to Greece this summer, yeah. and now they're raising funds to send them to Scotland and Ireland and the Galapagos Islands and somewhere else, uh, Japan, I think. Um, and it's a great, uh, you know, the, the new um, look of the travel club was to... Uh, not just allow kids who can afford it to go places, but to raise funds for those who uh, might not be able to. And so kids have to uh, fundraise in order to be able to participate. But what a great idea. And, again, you know, these kids coming from this tiny high school in the rural Connecticut, being able to travel internationally is just a wonderful experience. And hats off to all the um, members of that travel club, the parents and the kids as well. Um, so busy times ahead. And what a weekend we have coming up in Cornwall. Uh, they have their sixth annual cleanup, uh, green up day. That's going to be held on September 17th. Uh, we have the Salisbury Winter Sports Association golf tournament this weekend. Right. The Hudson, Valley, Bay, yeah. the Hudson Valley Rodeo, the second one is back. Uh, also this weekend on Saturday and a big car show in Hillsdale. Uh, we are really making up for lost time for those two years. We sure <laughs> are. And, uh, I forgot to mention, we did have the Ag Fair in Cornwall. Yeah, that was held this past year. And uh, always, always, you know, fun thing. It takes you back to yesteryear a bit with, you know, weaving and grinding of corn and uh, animals and the, um, you know, showing the blue ribbons for things that they've people have grown and, and made. So um, always a fun turnout. So, yeah, busy, busy times all over. And uh, we're getting back to normal, which is good. Yeah, as normal as we can be. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> All right, Ruth, uh, have a, nor- oh, have a normal um, week. Just next Sunday, the Democrats are in Salisbury are holding their crazy auction at the Town Grove. Uh, so uh, that's always a fun event. And uh, um, I don't know if Dave Beersdorf is going to do the honors again of of being the auctioneer, but it's um, a fun event at the Town Grove. All right. Okay, Marshall. Well, I hope you have a good week. I hope you have a good week, Ruth, and uh, we'll speak to you on Monday. Okie dokie. Take Take care. care. Ruth Epstein uh, from the Republican American with the Republican American Report here on Robin Hood Radio. You can always find it online uh, at uh, RobinHoodRadio.com. Click on On Demand. Click on Republican American Report.